It's Wolf, and it is a Free Realms video. So I've been doing a lot of tutorials about Waddle Forever, Club Penguin stuff lately, but another game that I really enjoyed when I was younger was Free Realms, and I recently was made aware of a project called Open Source Free Realms, which it pretty much just lets you walk around the Free Realms map. Um, there are some servers and stuff, but this video is just gonna be a very basic, like how to install it and kind of what it looks like. And maybe I'll do some more videos in the future that get a little bit more in depth with it. But for right now, this one is gonna be really straightforward. So firstly, I wanna give a shout out to Luna Water FR because um, she has this video about installing this game and I think my tutorial is going to be a little bit different. This was uploaded a couple months ago, so I think some of it has changed maybe a little. And she goes into depth a little bit more with, like, getting onto a server and stuff. So, yeah, this is where I found some of the links and stuff. But anyway, so if you Google open source, or I guess Bing, open source free realms, and you get this GitHub page, there's, I think, more than one way to install this, but the easiest way is, that I've found is the one that I'm going to be going over. So if you end up here, you're actually going to want to go to Open Source Free Realms, like the base of the GitHub page. And then you're going to want to go down to Open Source Free Realms Launcher, this public archive thing. Um, and then there's like parts of this that have been archived and parts that haven't. So I don't entirely know how much of this is like actually still being developed or not. But we're going to go ahead to latest release and we're going to download the open source free realms launcher, which I've already downloaded before. Um, but yeah, so this is zipped also as 7z. So you're going to need a program like 7zip to unzip this. Um, and let me just make sure it all downloaded. It looks like it did. So you're going to extract the files and you can choose where to extract them. I've got a folder set up here called Free Realms and that's where I'm gonna go ahead and extract them. So select that folder and then I think just leave all these settings the same. I've forgotten since I did it last. So this should extract everything and then when we go into Free Realms now we will have Open Source Free Realms Launcher and I can get rid of that one because I don't have two copies of this right now. Open this up, open this up, and here is the Open Source Free Realms Launcher stuff. The icons are taking a minute to actually load, but we're gonna click on OSFR Launcher. And then once this launches, if I remember right, it needs to also do some installation stuff. But this is pretty straightforward in terms of like installing this and everything. So we're gonna click install and I don't remember how much of a prog... Okay, there is a progress bar. Um, I don't know if that's the entire time because I remember not seeing that last time, but I mean, just not have been paying attention. But this is a good chance while this is installing to mention um, this is not the only Free Realms related project. I know that there's also like Free Realms Sunrise and I think some other ones that are aiming for sort of a private server thing with Free Realms. This you can play offline by yourself and just wander around the map of Free Realms. Um, there are servers, like I mentioned earlier, I think that you can connect to, like you would type it into this this box here. Um, I haven't really investigated any of the other things. I know I kept hearing about Free Realms Sunrise, but I don't believe that's ever had like a public beta yet still. It may have, I'm not totally sure. And I think there's other ones too. Um, but this is the one that seems to be like the easiest to download that I could find um, and that's like the easiest to do. Also, just as a heads up too, um, this may be one of those ones that when you launch it for the first time, the Windows thing will pop up and say, hey, are you sure you want to launch this because it's an unsigned developer? You have to click like more info and then run anyway. I don't remember if it does that or not. It might not be doing it. Norm it might do that normally and not be doing it now because uh, I've already launched this before, even though this is a new installation of it. So the loading bar has disappeared, but uh, it says it's still installing. If I remember right, this took a little while last time. So I'm just going to leave it sit for a little while longer and uh, it should finish up eventually. So I suppose a good way to check is what I just kind of did there. If you try to exit, it'll say application is busy, please wait. So this is still doing 
installing stuff even though the progress bar is done. I don't know how much longer this will take, but uh, this this did work last time, so it should be. Oh, hey, there we go, perfect timing. Okay, so everything's installed, um, and now we can actually play the game. So we'll make our username Wolf. We will be a guy, and I'm not going to connect to any servers or anything, so I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so take two here. I think you need to click Start Server before you actually click Play, um, which would make sense because in theory, then there's uh, you know, if there's no server running, then there's not actually anything to play on. So let me go ahead and try that. Yes, okay, now it's loading. So make sure to click start server before you click play, otherwise uh, the game won't actually have anything to connect to and will just error out and send you to a old Sony error page that no longer exists. Anyway, now we're in the game. So Free Realms, it looks like I remember it. Um, yeah, so this is really cool. Um, it is Free Realms. I think your character, when you start, is just, like, randomly generated. Because this guy looks different than uh, last time I tried this out. But I believe... I think you might be able to do some customization. I'm not totally sure. I know that, like, some of the servers you can connect to kind of change up some of the stuff a little bit. Um, but, yeah. Let me, let me investigate this for a second here. Yeah, so you can customize your outfit um, by going into, like, your job class and then just picking the items. I don't know if this is all the items, but it is a lot of items. So there's that. Now, not everything works in this, though. And, like, one of the things that I know doesn't work because I messed around with it earlier was some of the, like, launch pads... So the seaside area of Free Realms has this big set of like trampolines. And I remember when I played when I was younger, it was a lot of fun to just kind of run around and like bounce on them because they go along a pretty good chunk of the shore. Um, they don't work here though. So there are things that are not functioning perfectly. I don't really know if you can do quests or anything like that. So it's not, it's not like a perfect recreation of Free Realms, but there is a lot here and you can still like explore the game and um, it's fun. It's really cool to see because, I mean, part of the appeal of Free Realms to me when I was younger was the fact that Free Realms has a really, really well-designed map, in my opinion. A lot of the areas of this game are very unique and have completely different looks. Like, look at this compared to where we just were. This is a totally different vibe. So that's really cool. And I know that some stuff does work. Like, I know... Where are the mounts? There they are. So you can get bunch of the different like rides and stuff like if I remember right I think I actually had this when I was younger so some of this type of stuff works um, and yeah it's really cool to just kind of be able to explore free realms again so that's gonna be it for this video there is more to this but I yeah I just wanted to show this for this video I didn't want it to be super long so if you guys want to see more tutorials about Free Realms or open source Free Realms, make sure to let me know because I might make some more. I know I've also got like a lot of Club Penguin tutorials to make as well. Um, but yeah, this was just a, an interesting thing that I found that I wanted to share with you guys. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in other stuff in the future, and bye bye So it's editing Wolf from the future here, and I have slowed down the last few seconds of this video massively because I wanted to make an important note. So after recording this video, I took a better look at Luna Water FR's video about installing this and realized that me and her installed entirely different launchers. They're still both on the same GitHub area, but they are different launchers. The one that I installed doesn't seem to be getting any more updates or anything like that because it's archived on GitHub, whereas the one that she installed seems to still be in active development. So just keep that in mind when it comes to installing these I don't really know if there's like a particular reason to install one or the other except for that the one I install in this video might not be able to connect to private servers since it's older I don't entirely know either way this video still works as a tutorial if you want to play it single player offline or anything but just keep that in mind wanted to add that thanks for watching see you in other stuff in the future